Whoop. Hey everyone, welcome. It's Saturday. My name is Robin Cavallaro. I'm a realtor here in Florida. I primarily sell in the villages and I want to talk to you about a couple of exciting things that have been happening here and uh, I want to talk about golf. So let's get into all the material. But before we start, if you're new here, I want you to check this out. Before we start, make sure you go to my website, robincavallaro.com. And here's the address here. Uh, you can search for any home that's available here, well, in Florida, but in the villages. And what I've done is I've broken it down by sections. So if you want to search the historic area, you want to search Marion County, you want to search South of 44 and on and on. You can just click on it and search it. You can save the searches. It'll send you emails with market updates. You get notes from me all of the time reminding you, hey, I'm here. Do you need help? So don't forget, go and search my website and also get my book. It's available in Amazon on print, in print on Amazon. Also, you can get it on Kindle or as a download on my website. All right, back to the regularly scheduled program. <laughs> all right, so I know the market is not really all that active in other areas, but we still do have a hot real estate market here in the villages, Florida. We do have a lot of pre-owned homes right now in the MLS. We have 424 homes and that's throughout the community. That's everything from, um, like, I think it's like $150,000 manufactured home that is in bad condition up to 1.7 million. So it encompasses everything. Um, so there is opportunity everywhere. And also when I get into this, I'm going to break down how many homes we have in each category so you can see where your opportunities are. Um, homes are still sitting on the market about an average of 50 days, but you know, I just had a home come on the market. It wasn't my listing, but it went in, you know, I'm going to turn this a little bit, you know, just so you can see painted the wall back there. <laughs> I love that color. And so now I have that, um, sunflower. I'm getting another different sunflower for that corner. But anyway, so it just has a little, it's so much warmer feeling in here. I really like it. But anyway, so um, 424 homes on the market. We did have 69 homes take a price decrease. One of them was my listing at 1775 Blackwell. And I want to show you the photo here. I do have a full video it's a one bed, one bath, but they have done so many nice things in this home. Um, I extended the backyard. They made a private little oasis back there. So I think if you have a pet, you'll still be happy with the layout of the um, backyard. You'll be able to kind of enclose it. And um, if you want to be near Eastport and you have a budget that's under $280,000, you might want to take a look at that. Great snowbird home, great rental property. They will offer turnkey package uh, for the right price. And um, yeah, or if you're a single person and or it could be two people, the two people are living in that home now. Um, all right. So take a look at that. If you want to set up a private tour, let me know. All right, so uh, pending homes, we had 46 this week. And I'm sorry, I'm just going to get up here a little bit. Um, we had 46 homes go pending on the market, zero to one day. There were two on the market, two to seven days. We had seven and on the market, 100 plus days, we had seven. So that's interesting that uh, we do. I can't remember what we had. I don't think I did a video last week. And for all of you who have subscribed to my email newsletter, I apologize. I haven't sent out in a couple weeks. It has been crazy busy here. I actually uh, had a couple of cancellations this week. So I was able to catch up on a lot of work. And um, I hadn't been playing pickleball, believe it or not. I've been playing once a week. But that's a good thing. I'd rather work and make money than play pickleball. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so sold homes. We had 35 sell this week. Um, of the 35, 24 were cash, eight were conventional, one FHA, one VA, and one seller finance. So cash is still king. Uh, I know the interest rates are coming down. Uh, I've heard a couple of people tell me that some of the VA loans might be in the fives. So, um, Get ready, people. 
If you are looking to purchase a home and you want to finance it, please have everything in order for your realtor or myself. Make sure you have that pre-approval letter ready to go. So when you, cause you're going to find a home that you least expect when you're going to find it. And if you're not ready, happened to us this week, you may lose out. So uh, just keep that in mind. Proof of funds for cash, snapshot of a bank account that shows you can make that purchase or uh, the pre-approval letter from your lender. All right. Uh, okay, so 35 homes sold on the market, zero to one day, we have one. So that means it went on the market, it went pending in zero to one days, and it sold this past week, and it's January 27th through February 3rd. This is Saturday. Two to seven days on the market, we had one, and 100 plus days on the market, we had 10. I can tell you, uh, if the home is sitting on the market 110 days, there's a reason. You know, it's going to need some work. So if you're in for work, then that might be a great opportunity for you. Also, another interesting fact, we have 32 homes with pools. So I thought uh, you might want to know that. That seems to be picking up a little bit. All right, so... Next, I want to segue. I want to include some terms because if you're new here to searching for a home in the villages, you might want to understand what certain things mean and where to find them. So I want to talk about golf. Uh, I know that this is, besides pickleball, Mecca, um, golf is king here in the villages. Uh, we're a golf cart community. We have many, many, many golf courses. So there's two types. Uh, well, first off, you can find all of this information out at thevillagesgolf.com. Everything you need to know about Villages Golf, and I'll put it down here, can be found on that website. It'll have a list of all of the courses, the 13 championship courses. We have 41 executive courses. Uh, we have three pitch and putts, and there's a map that you can look at that'll indicate where all of the courses are. And you'll see here a little color indication of if it's a championship executive or if it's a pitch and putt. Um, what you need to know about the golfing is that the executive courses are part of your amenity fee and you need to reserve tee times and there are different ways to book tee times. You can do it on the phone, online, or you can call the starter shack, which I used to do. I used to walk on when I, a couple times that I played, but you can do that. Um, if you have a guest, they have to be with you on a guest pass. If they have a lifestyle pass, which a lot of the tenants will have a lifestyle pass, which means that they can use all of the amenities no matter what. Um, they'll need that with them for to golf, like say if you're renting it out. Uh, on thevillagesgolf.com, you'll also be able to find out the rates for the championship courses because no matter what, they're pay to play and they're different levels of how much it costs for you to play on those courses. So you want to check that out. And all of the villages, the championship courses are called country clubs because there is a pro shop and a restaurant attached to it. Uh, the restaurants are open to the public as are the championship courses. So anybody anywhere can come and play on our championship courses. Um, you can get carts there or you can ride your own cart. If you have a golf cart, and you are on the executive courses, you have to have paid a trail fee to use your cart on the course. And there are different rates depending on how long you need that pass for. So check that out. Everything is on there. Tournaments, events, policies, everything is on that site. It's a wealth of information. All right. That's it about what we do here to golf. Um... Homes that are in price ranges. So I broke this down. We have between 100,000 and 200,000, believe it or not, we have 18 homes. Uh, they're primarily in the historic district. I'll show you up here on the map. Uh, between 201 and 300,000, there are 60 homes. 
The sweet spot of the villages, 301,000 to 400,000, we have 158. And you're gonna find those in all shapes and sizes of move in to complete disrepair. <laughs> so uh, check those out. 401 to 500, we have 91 homes. Uh, 501 to 600,000, we have 38. 601 to 700, there are 22 homes available. And 700 plus, we have 37 homes. So there is something for everybody. And I did mention this in some previous videos that you can find a home in every area. The Villages has built this community to be inclusive. So if you have a budget of $280,000 and you want a small patio villa, you're going to be able to find that up north, in the middle, near Brownwood, and down south. So they have all the different styles of homes available everywhere. It's not, oh, that section are only million. Well, there are a couple sections that are just, you know, premieres that are million dollar homes. You're not going to find patio villas in between them, but you're definitely going to be able to find what you're looking for everywhere. Here, I'm sorry, I keep scooting away. I'm trying to find the happy medium for my head. Um, so there's something for everyone in every section here makes the community that much more accessible to everyone. So lastly, I know people have been asking me, um, CP Frederick, where I get my hair done in Ocala. I love it up there. Colton and Raul are amazing. And I'm going to kind of say they sponsored this video because Colton wanted to put hair extensions in my hair. So I let him. And of course they did it complimentary. And uh, just because I talk about them all the time and I have brought them some business. So I'm really excited about that. But um, I think their rates are very reasonable and make a day out of it. There's great shopping and restaurants, even right downtown Ocala. There's some great restaurants. So go get your hair done, go get something to eat. I've been in... I think I've been in all the restaurants right downtown in Ocala, and they're all very, very good. Uh, you have a steakhouse, there's barbecue, Mexican, Harry's Creole, there's a French restaurant, there's Ivy, and they just opened Mellow Mushroom. So you definitely want to give that a check out while you're going to get your hair done at C.P. Frederick in Ocala. Okay, so I think that's it for this week. Yeah. All right, I have a busy week coming up. I'm going away for the weekend next weekend, so I might not have a video out. But anyway, I'm Robin Cavallaro. I'm a realtor here in Florida. And if you're looking for your next home to buy or sell, call girl. All right, if you enjoyed this episode, you want to check this next one out, I think you're going to like it. All right, until next time, I'll see you.